with that being said, we're going to dive right into one of our favorite sections of the show. Um, let me throw in some colorful. Everyone's excited. Everyone's excited. Rudy, let's go off with your rant. What's going on this week? What's going yeah. on? Colorful mind. You know, they always make it real easy for me at the last minute, you know, because I, sometimes I'm coming in, I don't know what I'm going to talk about, and then they do it for me. They make it easy. First off, real quick, I wanted to give some love to my fraternity, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Pledged me up on chapter in spring 1997. I'm going on 26 years on March 23rd. No, 26? 27. What the hell year are we in? 26 years. 27 years. Oh, my God. 27 years. So, blue fire to all my Sigma brothers around the world. LeBron James, baby, he always he never lets me down. LeBron James never lets me down. You know, you saw what LeBron said this week, right, Nick? No, what did he say, Rudy? What did Nick, what did he say? <laughs> what did he say? So I already talked about his steroid situation, and that's what I forgot to actually ask Dylan was, you know, are they oh, gonna make yeah. an episode on LeBron with Kevin Garnett <laughs> and so forth? Oh, but that, um that will get him shut down. That's the that's the shutdown. He, <laughs> that's the <laughs> shutdown one, right? So Let's see here. Kev, LeBron James has been telling the world for how many years how amazing his son is at basketball. And this week he deleted a couple of tweets or he posted a couple of tweets and then deleted them because he's a punk and does that punk type shit. If you're going to tweet it, eat it. You don't delete it. That's a good line. Tweet, you're gonna tweet it, you, tweet huh? it, eat it. Tweet it, you tweet it, you eat it. Because if it doesn't work out for you, you have to eat it. And, you know, so don't delete it. Be a man because you know what? People are watching you at all times, LeBron. So someone's going to screenshot that thing, and they do. He says, man, oh, I'm sorry. No. Can y'all please just let the kid be a kid and enjoy college basketball? The work and results will ultimately do the talking no matter what he decides to do. If you don't know, he doesn't care what a mock draft says. He just works. Earn, not given. He continued it up with them. And to tell the other kids out there striving to be great, just keep your heads down, blinders on, and keep grinding. These mock drafts doesn't matter one bit. I promise you, only the work matters. Let's talk real basketball people. My guy, LeBron James, the only reason we talk about your son is because of you. You are the one that runs your mouth about him all the fucking time. You're the one that's been freaking pushing this narrative for years now. You're the one saying that you want to play with him in the NBA and you're not going to retire until you play with him to the point where teams are literally ready to fold. When I say fold, but like fold under the pressure of drafting him or signing him for the purposes of getting you for one. Maybe two years. I'll do it. You're, huh? I'll I know you. Would. you. You're trying to hold people hostage to, to, to basically embarrass themselves and embarrass the league. You sit here and say, it's earned, not given. Shut the fuck up then. Because you're the one that's making it not earned. Because it's not earned. He's averaging less points a game than Nick did in college. Sorry, Nick. Oh. But you were good. You were a starter. He's not starting. He's on a bad basketball team. That's true. He's averaging less than six points a game, shooting 27% from three, 37 from the field. Quite frankly, he is not a good basketball player right now. And I know he had a very scary medical situation, but that's not why he's not a good basketball player right now. Because the reality was he was a good high school player. He was not a top 25 player. His ranking was based on LeBron pushing a narrative because LeBron pretty much owns McDonald's. He owns this. He owns that. And, I mean, how, Nick, be real. You know this answer. How many teams will have their third or fourth best player be ranked in the top 25 in the country? None. No. Unless your name is Bronny James. Mm -hmm. And, again, this is no shot at this kid because he's actually a good ball player. He's a good high school player. I like him. I mean, I, huh? I like his game. He's got skills, but he's a role – at best, he's a role player in the NBA in three years. He's not an NBA player right now. Do you think he could take Pat Beverly's lunch right now? Fuck no. And I don't like Pat Beverly. Hey, Pat, hey don't, don't you talk Pat about Pat eat, Beverly. Pat would, eat, Pat would eat him for breakfast. Josh Richardson would eat him for breakfast. This is a joke at this point. You push this narrative because guess what you said? 
I mean, you said this March 6th of 2023. I make notes. Man, Bronny definitely better than some of these cats I've been watching on League Pass today. Shit, light hit weight hilarious. This is when he was in high school, he said this. This is when Bronny's team at Sierra Canyon couldn't even win their freaking sectional championship or whatever it is in California. They didn't even make it to the big dance in California because there's a different system there. I don't know if you're familiar with it. They have like an all-round state tournament, and then they have sectional type tournaments, you know, for whatever. And they got their asses kicked in that tournament. They lost like 10 games last year. But this kid's a top 25 player? Get the fuck out of here, man. Then on January, so this was last year, when this kid's in high school, that he's saying this. Let's be real. He's not going to make any McDonald's All-Americans game if his dad's not LeBron. Look at the guys like Carmelo. Carmelo's son is good as hell. Right? Yep. Scottie Pippen's son is good as hell. Scottie Pippen's son's the best player at Sierra Canyon right now. Good as hell. They're like 25 and 1, something like that. They're really damn good this year. You don't ever hear Scottie Pippen talking about his kid, Carmelo talking about his kid, all these different former pros who got top shelf dudes. You hear Carlos Boozer talking about Cameron Boozer and Caden Boozer? No, you don't hear it. The only person you always hear talking about their fucking son is LeBron. And I feel sorry at times for his son. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him because he's not being allowed to mature. He's not, he wasn't allowed to be a kid. He wasn't allowed to be because his dad's been pushing this fucking narrative for years because this is his, this is LeBron's dream. Because you don't hear his mo- the mother saying, you don't hear his mom saying this stuff. You hear dad, oh, I want him to play in the NBA with me. Okay. Well, what if he doesn't want to? What if he doesn't want? Do we even know? Because the kid never talks. This sounds like dad's dream. This is like my dad. My dad had a dream that I would be a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. But I do pretty goddamn well not being a lawyer. So on January 6th, he says he could play for us right now easy when he was talking to Austin Reeves which was overheard by many media members and been reported. So you have a guy who a month and a half ago was saying this, and now you're telling us to leave him alone? Motherfucker, you started this. You're the one that brought this shit on him. You're the one that brings the attention to him. So if you learn to shut the fuck up and close your pie hole, people will leave him alone. And guess what? The mock draft a year ago had him going in the lottery, which was outrageous. And the only reason was because of you. Because now they have him in the mock draft for 2025, which I still think is a reach. But let the guy, let the kid grow. If you want him to grow up and be a kid and enjoy college basketball, zip your fucking pie hole, bro. That's it. Well, uh-